So, first day of renovation is here, hopefully. Uh, this was supposed to be the second day of renovation, but the renovation started with a no show from uh, the painters. So we are painting our house. We are doing this in order to uh, give it uh, a little more light and also to take out the smell of the mold and dampness from the walls. Um, we are doing this because we want to rent this house in um, the high season. We want to rent it for more money and also we want people to be able to stay here in September, October. And for uh, that we are making small improvements. Hopefully we will have more uh, clients uh, this year in 2023. So we are waiting for um, the painters, they are supposed to be here around 10 o'clock. Actually, I think everybody starts working here around 9 and um, the trip over here, I think it counts as work. So uh, yeah, we are waiting for them. We are really hoping they are going to show up, uh, not like uh, the day before. Uh, if you are uh, hearing a sound, this is the air conditioning running because uh, it's uh, January, the last week of January, and it's freezing cold in the house. The temperature outside, it's okay. It's also cold outside. It's like uh, 6 degrees in the night and 12 to 14 degrees this week was like this. It's sunny, of course, and blue skies and everything, but really cold. So I cannot uh, turn this off because I'm really freezing cold and uh, yeah let's hope we are going to have a successful renovation so let's see how the first day went they started painting in here this is one of the bedrooms the bedroom upstairs and they pulled all the furniture and cover it with these. This was also included in the price. And they painted also this. On the balcony they made some repairs. You see over there because the balcony was uh, gravely affected and they did all of this work. I am seeing it uh, also with you right now. I haven't been uh, up here. I don't want to mess with them. And also there, some work. So uh, I guess tomorrow they will paint over all of this. I don't know if they did a great job or not, but I'm happy. Oh, they did uh, some repairs on this. Uh, I really like this. Very nice. And here, some repairs. And in case you haven't seen it, this is the balcony upstairs. And this is the view. Nice view, right? There we have some more construction. Everybody is repairing stuff right now. Okay, so now back in the bedroom. Let's see it. Okay. Here they painted, already painted with the white. I think it looks good. So another fun fact, if you are going to deal with Portuguese uh, construction people, they came at 10 and uh, they left like four, four and a half. So uh, they took no break for lunch or maybe like 10 minutes they went to the car and came back maybe that was the lunch break i don't know but uh, they don't work after hours so they came at 10 they left at 4 and something and also they don't close doors people they uh, when they left the house to get to the car and bring something uh, they didn't close the door they leave the door wide open <laughs> and actually when they went uh, right now for the day they also leave the door open i don't know why portuguese people do that all the people i have encountered for uh, maintenance or kind all kind of work they leave the door open why <laughs> and why it's important to keep the door closed because um, of the heat today was a particularly very cold day it was like six degrees outside in the morning and in noon six degrees 
this is very very cold for Portugal even in January so it was a very cold day and they just kept that door open and I had to get up from the couch and close it and another fun fact when they came uh, back to the house well, they went to the car and bring some more stuff and when they came uh, back to the house they always ring the door they didn't just come in they bring the door and we have to get up from the couch and open the door even if they would do that like a hundred times i don't know i think it's a portuguese custom or something but it's very strange to us so for the first day of renovation i think all went well we are looking forward to tomorrow i don't know if they are going to pay the living room i guess they are going to pay the living room and the kitchen tomorrow and hope to go as well as well it went today See you tomorrow! Okay, so let's talk day two of renovation, painting the house. I am in the bedroom, one of the bedrooms. We had to move all our stuff here from the house because um, they are going to start painting the living room tomorrow and we had to take all the stuff from there to put it here. So it's kind of a mess. I'm sorry for the decor. The workers that came today were uh, totally different workers than uh, the other ones from uh, the day before. They were also two workers who also work on the bedroom upstairs. They painted the second coat of paint and also they painted the um, terrace upstairs. I haven't seen the finished work so we are going to go upstairs and see it together uh, and also they painted the um, hallway, the upstairs hallway. So the second day was more for the finish of the bathroom. In the bathroom they have only the ceiling because in the rest of the bathroom we have the tiles so it's only the ceiling and also they painted for the first time uh, the hallway. I am very curious. I don't want uh, to go there in the middle of uh, the work, you know, because uh, I think uh, it upsets them or something like that. They don't feel comfortable with me just going there and see what they are doing. These uh, workers were different from the yesterday and uh, they were very different uh, vibes. Uh, first of all, the people who came yesterday, they were Portuguese, European Portuguese, and um, even if they worked uh, slow, so I thought they were slow, uh, they were very thoughtful and careful about everything and also very, very quiet. They didn't disturb us at all. The ones that came today were... Um, Portuguese but Brazilian and the reason I know that even if I don't speak Portuguese is that uh, you could actually tell from the accent and the way they pronounce the words and how they phrase the, the sentences. So these two people, I don't know if everybody from Brazil is the same, but these two people, they were very loud, uh, they put music uh, very loud, they sang all day, so they are very cheerful, joyful, they speak in very loud voices. They were these very expansive and extrovert people. They didn't ask if we want uh, peace or quiet, they just turn on the music and they sang all day. Literally all day they sang and talked in loud voices. Uh, I understand the concept of being cheerful, especially day work is not very pleasant and make the most of every moment, but we work from home and we are not the kind of people that uh, cope very well with the noise. This is the reason why we mo moved to Portugal in the middle of nowhere in the resort because we want peace and quiet. And this was a little bit of disturbance for us. So very different type of people from the ones that came yesterday. But uh, on the other part, when we interacted with them, they were very polite. They had an app, so I spoke in English and the app uh, translated in uh, Portuguese. I've also, uh, if they uh, wrote to me in Portuguese, I understood, I just cannot speak. So uh, all in all, they are very polite when they interact with us. I think it's just us because I know we have a problem with the noise but all in all we also work from home and we wanted a little bit of peace and quiet. Unfortunately I think they are going to be the ones that are going to come tomorrow also. I don't know why they changed teams and we got stuck with this team but um, all in all I think they uh, did a good work. I don't know what I liked about them especially is that they are very clean. I mean after they finish 
all of it. They took about one hour and a half and they stayed uh, until around 5, 5.30, uh, not leaving like the other ones at 4 p.m. just to clean the room and um, make sure everything is clean and I really like that. So uh, also uh, they were in charge of putting the furniture together back in their place. Um, some of the furniture you are going to see that uh, it's not uh, put uh, how it was because we asked uh, to leave it like this but uh, they were um, offering us to help us also with the furniture. This was included also in the price. Other thing that I observed I didn't like and it is uh, valid also for the team that came today and also for the team that um, was yesterday is that they take their time with the work uh, they don't rush anything and a job that uh, could have been done uh, with the maximum productivity in like three days they are going to finish in like six days or something like that so they take their time they don't rush anything uh, they take long breaks they laugh they sing so it's kind of weird for us. I don't. I know that uh, in our culture in Romania, and this is why we left and want to escape that. But we work when we go to work. We work really long and hard hours. Of course, not everybody is like that. But we own uh, our own businesses, and of course, every minute counts. So I'm a little bit of freak also with the productivity, and it's kind of disturbing that they could have been in and out in three days uh, but we are going to uh, extend uh, this inconvenience with uh, everything that you see here we are going to extend it over the weekend and into the next week and why why do that when you can do uh, work and uh, on the other hand i understand they are only the workers uh, they are paid by uh, not by the hour i think they are paid uh, by monthly or something and they are not interested in doing more stuff and uh, more works because if they finish here in three days they are going to go to the next uh, uh, assignment and next work and next house but I think if I would have been in charge of this I would have a supervisor directly interested to rush it you know so I don't know why a job that could have been done in three days if people just put to the work into it you know it extends for so long i am so sorry for the quality of the image but this part of the house is not very illuminated i don't have a lot of uh, light here so what uh, they did they painted all of this the ceiling the walls everything and also that and that so sorry for the quality of image and also this was painted oh my god this is the stairs so we are going in the upstairs okay let's see what they did here you see so they um, absolutely cleaned everything also this furniture was supposed to go uh, into their places but i said just let it uh, like that and uh, we will take care of it why because i want the walls to be really really uh, dry um, when we put uh, this into their place and also we plan to exchange the beds so these are the beds and we plan to throw them away and put others in place. The terrace also very clean, very beautiful. I really like how uh, this is showing up. All of this was very dirty with rust and we didn't have mold but anyway you can really really tell that uh, somebody did a really nice job here. I want this I want to uh, do it myself, get a little bit of paint from uh, Leroy and paint it myself. And yeah, I really like how this turned out. We are very lucky that the weather holds so it's not raining or anything like that. And I think uh, all of this is going to be really, really dry like in one day or two days, I don't know. I cannot really ask because they are not speaking um, English and we are just com communicating like that. They put this against the wall and the wall is not dry. I don't like this. <laughs> yes, I'm uh, really particular and uh, freakish with the details.
I don't know if you are the same. <laughs> and I don't really know if they uh, were doing a nice job. I just like the fact that the house smells very fresh and uh, it's very white. So it's really a big change to put a nice uh, coat of paint and it really changes everything, uh, the atmosphere. I think uh, this is uh, going to be worth it in the end and at the end of this renovation I'm going to put also the price so you see how much this all costs. Also they painted in the closet because uh, as you see the closet is uh, constructed so this is right here this is wall and they also painted this. Also, they painted there. So uh, even if we, if we are not actually using or it was not necessary to paint inside of the closet, I wanted because of the smell. So because the house was left empty and nobody lived here for a while, uh, it was a smell of the, you know, where, what the smell that gets if a house is inhabited and also if, if a house is not heated and also if it's a house in Portugal is not heated, you have a major, major problem with the smell. So it's not that uh, we have any problem with the walls or uh, infiltration or something like that. It's just that damp smell that is into the walls now it smells really fresh and nice let's see also the bathroom like I said here it was only about painting this ceiling so not much work to do here I wanted to see if this is dry but it's not it's wet here and also here wet so this is going to have to sit for a while. So this is kind of concludes the day two of the renovation. See you tomorrow! So day three of this madness, the renovation. Actually it's a mild renovation but still a lot of trouble. So uh, this is the day when the things get ugly because we, they are going to start painting the living room and the kitchen and we are not going to be able throughout the weekend to have use of this couch, this room, the TV, anything. So this weekend is going to be interesting. We are going to effectively live in one room, the bedroom that uh, remains until now unpainted and we have still the bathroom but we don't have the kitchen and not the TV. This is a real drama for me because I watch a lot of TV. We are going to survive. We are going to spend this weekend in nature and wait for Monday when hopefully this room is going to be finished. Good morning. It's morning when I film the outcome of the third day of renovation. Things happened and I couldn't film in real time. So I'm here with my coffee, it's Sunday <laughs> and uh, we are still uh, going people, we are still going. But let me tell you about the third day of renovation that uh, wasn't so good as the first and the second. The team changed again, was uh, one guy from uh, yesterday and another guy. This other guy wasn't so uh, noisy like uh, the previous one but it wasn't so careful either. So some of the paint reached our um, furniture in the living room like the couch and uh, the chairs from the bar. Um, they didn't have so much care as uh, the other ones. The man who was here uh, on previous days, he worked the same, but the new one wasn't so careful. So uh, yeah, I'm a little uh, upset about this. I tried to remove the paint with uh, some acetone, uh, nail uh, varnish remover with acetone. Um, it worked and it didn't. It's not a big deal, they are not big spots, but uh, still, I don't know how could this happen. I mean, everything was uh, wrapped up in... Uh, in bubble and everything. He wasn't careful, that is the only explanation. So I'm a little uh, bummed up about that. Also, uh, they had to do today also the kitchen, but they didn't. They moved slowly as usual. Also, um, this happened on Friday, so uh, all of the weekend we didn't have the, the use of the 
living room. We didn't have the use of the TV, but it's okay because we had a ton of work. This is why I couldn't film because uh, we also had a, a lot of other things going on. For example, uh, we are changing also the some small improvements on the electricity part. We are changing all the electrical sockets, the old ones and replace it with new ones. We have to go right now to Lewa to get it. Um, of course, there is a problem with everything that you want to change because uh, these are uh, sockets that we are not used to. They are not like in our country. We, uh, they are kind of two put together, two by two, and we are not sure that we are going to buy the right ones. Fortunately, I think we can return it at Leroy, so if we make a mistake, we can return it. But the um, electricity man will come and will have nothing to do if we don't um, choose the right um, kind of uh, products. If you are wondering why we are doing that and not let the electrical man do all the stuff and come with uh, the new ones, is because uh, they uh, charge us a lot of more money if they do also the shopping for us and we are trying to keep the, all the expenses at a minimum. And this is why we do try to do as much as possible on our own. And this is what we bought from Leroy. For the electrical fan. A lot of stuff. And also they are very expensive. All kinds of stuff. So we have uh, the maintenance coming to us and maybe we are going to get this done before uh, the finishing of the renovation I hope so so yeah everything that you see here for the electrical part costed around a hundred euros you know just to, to change everything in the house and it's Schneider so not a very very cheap one but not a very expensive one either and also we bought this to replace this because uh, the other ones are rusted and just to spruce up the house a little bit so yeah everything that you, that you see here a hundred euros we had the um a discussions with the one that uh, are uh, renting managing this place and they said that we have to change the mirror because it's very old so uh, we did go to ikea to purchase a new one of course it was out of stock our luck we had to we have to go back there next week uh, but uh, the other problem was that the previous owner oh my god some people some people people the previous owner glued the mirror to the wall. So we spent like an hour, maybe two, last night trying to get that mirror down. Of course, a lot of the glue stuck on the wall, like you see here, and now we have to spend another one or two hours getting that thing off. We also, we used the nail varnish uh, with acetone to make the glue um, unstick from the wall and it worked but we ran out of acetone and now we have to uh, buy also that uh, yes a lot of improv on all of this stuff but um, as long as it works and keep the budget uh, to a minimum i'm happy with that Also, I'm a little upset <laughs> because um, we wanted to change the bed in the house and we are going to do it. But um, the store that uh, we are we were going to use, Kitten Caboodle, here in Almansil, uh, ran out of um, single beds and double beds. And now uh, we cannot change uh, the beds in the same time as... Um, making all the, the renovations in the house so we have to wait for them to receive new beds hopefully they will we don't know uh, kitten caboodle is a um, pre-loved um, furniture store so you never know when they are going to get what you need and if it's going to fit also we went on ikea also to see if we can buy new beds from there but the prices are insane we also uh, went to ikea in uh, their um, 
take it as they sell it zone. You know, it's a zone where they sell the products that the buyers return at a much lower price. And we saw some stuff, but they are still uh, very pricey. So this, uh, this store was uh, our only hope, uh, to put it like that. And they have uh, really quality things, not like Ikea. And this is why I'm also so upset, because uh, they have uh, some pretty amazing stuff from all the villas that are renovating here in the area. Pretty, pretty quality, amazing stuff at very, very low prices very good quality so um yeah i want to buy from them but i have to wait they don't know when they are going to get the next uh, shipment of merchandise it all depends on the other people who are renovating their homes so yeah it seems like nothing is working like uh, we were planning uh, nothing uh, it's running really smoothly but i think you would say that uh, these things are to be expected in a renovation. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting it. And on top of everything, the most the most annoying part for me is that it's very cold in the house. So um, in the in this year and the previous year, we were um, heating the house. And the fact that we were constantly heating the house and we had the guest here, um, the house reached like a level where you are comfortable to be in it. Well, with the renovation, they kept all the windows and doors wide open all day long, like six or eight hours a day. And the house kind of is very, very cold. And no matter what I do, no matter how, how many hours I get uh, the air conditioning running, like nonstop, the house won't get any warmer. It's true that uh, we also have a very particular weather these, uh, these uh, weeks here in uh, Algarve. It's very, very cold. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's very, very cold. It's like six degrees, maybe four degrees in the night. And uh, in the day we have like 10, 12 degrees, but cold. And I hope um, this weather, it won't last for long, but we are going to have the same weather also next week. Well, on the other hand, we are fortunate that it doesn't raining because it was if it was raining outside, the paint wouldn't dry or uh, we are lucky in that uh, regard. Kind of when it's cold, you don't have energy to do stuff, you are not thinking well, you are not drinking uh, that much water. And if you are dehydrated here, because you are, in spite of the coldness of the weather, you have to drink a lot of water here in Algarve, in Portugal, because the sun is shining and uh, you get uh, headaches and you can get sick from the sun if you don't drink a lot of water. And I don't because I'm very cold. And I'm not really myself, you know? This is why another uh, reason why I didn't uh, feel. Maybe, I don't know, I could get your feedback on this daily vlog renovation stuff. See you tomorrow. Unfortunately, this is all I could film. We had one more day of renovation, but I wasn't able to film in real time. So I want to leave you with uh, some conclusion of this renovation. So practically with this renovation, we did a lot of stuff in the house, a lot of small stuff, cosmetic stuff that uh, had great impact on uh, how the house looks. First, regarding the painting. If I were to do it all again, I would do it by myself because I did all those stuff on our own because uh, frankly we had a very low budget for this renovation and we got instruction from the firm uh, that was uh, renting this place that we had to do a lot more than we did. So a lot of these things, as you see, we did it ourselves. After we did all this stuff, we figured it out, wait a minute, what the painters did was not so hard. So in the future, if we are going to paint or repaint the house again, I would do it by myself. Actually, I did paint something by myself because when uh, we bought uh, the air conditioning, some of the um, paint work in the balconies got uh, damaged. So I repaired that on my own. I also repaired on my own and painted the uh, fences outside. So pretty much I got uh, really confident after doing all this work that we could do it on our own. So 
my first advice would be try to do it on your own. How much did we pay? We paid 2,500 euros for the painting of the walls. My second recommendation would be to really, really negotiate what goes in the price. Because uh, we thought we included in the price everything, but actually the painting of the walls that was behind the wardrobe in the bedrooms was not included in the price. I said at the beginning of the, of the video that I thought they did a really nice job with the cleaning. Well, they did a really nice job with the cleaning on the first day, but the other days of the renovation, the cleaning was not so great. It really depends on the people that are working and if you are changing teams, uh, not all the people are so careful, so... We had to have uh, some deep cleaning after that. The cleaning was a wrong impression. It was not so clean after they left. And the many days and months after they left, I was still cleaning the tiles and from the paint because there was paint everywhere. All in all, with all that we did, uh, which you see it's a very mild renovation, so just some minor cosmetic improvements, the budget was around 5,000 euros. And it was around 5,000 euros just because we did it ourselves. In this budget, however, uh, also is included the furniture that we bought. So um, two sofa beds for the main bedroom and we bought two beds uh, they are the beds that you see in the videos as uh, the ones uh, from the wood. We got lucky in the end and we purchased all that from Kit and Caboodle uh, which we highly recommend. You can go to Ikea, go to them first because uh, you might spend less money for better uh, quality. But still the budget may seem a lot for what you see in the pictures but actually, renovating a house in Portugal, it's very expensive. Even if we did the majority of stuff, we did uh, by ourselves. We had to paint a lot of things after they left. It is true that we asked, we anticipated this, and we asked uh, to be left um, some paint. And after we replaced all the sockets from the lights we also have to had to paint around them because uh, they were not a perfect match another thing that we did and you don't see here we painted the frames of the doors we kind of covered it uh, and we painted uh, over that and this i did myself and it took me like four or five days to do that i didn't do it all at once just uh, one hour uh, each afternoon when I was in the mood, I was painting another um, door. This is all the words of wisdom that I have. Uh, this could have uh, been uh, done a lot better. And now, from now on, what we've learned from all this, the main thing that we've learned and the very important thing is that we could do it all by ourselves. Even some electricity stuff, as you saw, we did it all by ourselves. We had to, but now we know that we can. And this is very important to us because in the future, when we go back here next year, we plan to do even more uh, improvements to the house because now we are not afraid uh, to do it by ourselves. If you are still here with me because I haven't posted in a long time, I am waiting for your comments in the comment section and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!